Hey everybody, Jay Matthews here, Colossal Cycling. Buster Griffin, Colossal Cycling. We wanted to take the time to share our story with you a little bit and to share with you about how we started with this idea of Colossal Cycling. My son's been racing BMX for about three years now. And uh, I used to just sit in the stands and watch and cheer him on. And uh, I was a part of a, a new development team for True BMX and didn't really know what all that meant at that time anyway, um, other than we got a pretty cool jersey. We were sitting in the stands one night and I saw this cat rolled up with him and his wife. And I said, you know what? That's my kind of guy right there. And then I watched him ride and it just blew me away this guy's big like me if he can do it I can do it you know I used to ride mountain bikes and dirt bikes and things like that when I was growing up and I've been just watching CJ and just dreaming about how I think I can do this and then I saw this cat and his name was Buster and me I I raced motocross and everything when I was younger and did all that I wanted to get back into something didn't know what I wanted to do. Went to Carolina Nationals three years ago and started noticing there was older guys, bigger guys in BMX. I can do this. And my wife was like, well then do it. And went out to practice, just joking around, fell in love with it. It takes you straight back to your 10 years old, riding jumping ramps that you made out of tires and stuff and mm -hmm. center blocks center blocks two by six. And, oh yeah <laughs> sometimes they break sometimes they don't you might get about 10 jumps out of them but and just fell in love with it and started mountain biking about the same time and not really into mountain biking just riding around and playing around on it so yeah. when i saw buster out there you know, I told Sarah, my wife, I said, I can do that. If he can do it, I know I can do it. And uh, so I went out to practice one day myself and tried it, fell in love with it, ordered my bike. And then uh, my very first race is really where I got to know Buster. Yep. It's kind of a funny story because we come out of the gate. And I was, of course, behind because I was new to the group and didn't know how to ride. Got to the end of the first straight. I slipped a pedal. Buster went over the handlebars right in front of me. It was a good one, too. I, I busted my helmet on that one. Busted his helmet. Busted, I mean, his whole face was swollen up. Oh, it was good. That was almost the end of my BMX career right there. It scared me so bad. <laughs> yeah. Jay said if he didn't hear me go, uh, he would have never seen it. He went over me. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, that kind of started the friendship between me and Buster, and she, we're like brothers now. And uh, one day, like Buster said, you know, it's, it's always funny that when we tell people we ride bikes, they look at us like, y'all ride bikes? Y'all are big. Or you hear, y'all sure are asking a lot of that bicycle, or you yeah. go to a bike shop or something, and me and Buster would walk up in a bike shop and they treat us like, what are these fat kids doing, you know? Like, do they even know what they're doing? Yeah, you got these little skinny roadies in there that are the bike mechanics and stuff looking at us thinking, you know, we're 200 pounds more than they are. But then they, they soon figure out we know a little bit about what we're talking about <clears throat> and what we're looking for. So and Then they see us ride and they're like, okay. So we, we kind of thought about this thing and we were like, you know what, nobody believes us. This is crazy. And this is just sitting around one night at Jay's house. That's right. Bored, just watching TV. So he was like, you know what? Let's come up with a, like an Instagram channel or a YouTube channel or something that people can follow us and watch our adventures and laugh at us at our experience. <laughs> and then we was like, well, we got to come up with a good name. Well, this, the name process went on for about two and a half, three weeks of me and Jay texting each other back and forth. So we our most god awful names. Right. And it took us about three weeks to find Colossal Cycling. Yeah, we. Our first reaction was to do like Fat Boy Cycling or something, but that was already taken. And yeah. So we got to thinking about, all right, we're big. So we 
we searched and searched for synonyms of big and, and saw colossal. We were like, oh, that has a ring to it. Yep. So that's where Colossal Cycling was born, was those few weeks. We kind of kept it to ourselves. We kind of threw an idea around about starting our own bike team and everything, but uh, we were a part of True BMX and at the time. still under contract. And under contract, and, and you know, we were sort of running the team that year anyway, and uh, we were just thinking, you know, let's just keep this just to have fun with. And, telling you what we didn't realize is how quick this thing was going to blow up no that, that that's the amazing part of it it's it's crazy it, it started off as a joke and now it's it, it, it's our life <laughs> I mean, it is i mean it's it's probably four or five days out of our afternoons out of the week that yeah. we're riding together or yeah. doing something working yep. on a bike or even texting back and forth about our other riders and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, we we uh, ended the year ended up parting ways with True BMX and uh, decided to go ahead and let's take this thing to the next level and, and start our very own cycling team. Uh, we like to mountain bike, like Buster says too, um, and we're wanting to get into some racing and things like that. So that's why we called it cycling instead of BMX. Because we wanted to broaden our spectrum. That's right. So we started a team, and uh, our buddy Jeff, when he found out about it, fell in love with the idea and, and jumped on board. And us three have kind of taken this team to the next level. Yes. And uh, next thing you know, it our kids wanted to be on it and everything, and it was just going to be us big boys on it. But then we were like, well, now the kids want to be a part of it, so. And then we started going out to the track, and more kids was like, hey, you know, what's this about? Right. And so they love this idea of colossal cycling, uh, this idea of inspiration is sort of the way we did it. Uh, the reason we started it is... Don't let your size determine your adventure. Don't right. let somebody tell you that you can't do something because you're bigger or your mental capabilities don't let people tell you you can't do something because of your abilities we won't prove them wrong right and it, it started off with just our size you know don't let you know we're finding out that there's so many other people that are uh, facing different challenges uh, and you know ours originally just started because of our size but the, the challenges they face different uh, diseases sicknesses different things that they've gone through our age you know like me i'm a construction worker I've, I've grown up pouring concrete and riding heavy equipment my body is just broke down to be 39 years old I'm, i have a, a lot of health problems and it just kind of expanded from there we've got a, a child and, and we plan to have a video very soon to tell you his story his name is uh, Jude Rad Dude, <coughs> and he suffers from cystic fibrosis, and it is just a plain inspiration to watch that boy ride, okay. knowing the struggles and the things that he goes through on a daily basis. I mean, he really is an inspiration. Like, Ed just loves to ride his bike, bikes. That's you know, right. He's got a bike yeah. now. A mountain bike now. Yeah, ride with us. Anyway. Uh, you know, we found that's that's what drew people to us. We've got all kind of different backgrounds, different beliefs, different political beliefs, but we are proof. But none of that matters with us. Right. We are proof that you can get along and get along fine and be great friends, even though you have different ideas. I just wish this country would watch our team in action yeah because that's what we need so colossal cycling has taken off from there and we've got what about 17 riders i think i think it's 17 nasty uh, mountain bike and yeah we picked up a, a, a guy that and we'll tell his story too his name is edale we picked him up on the uh mountain bike side you'll see him in a lot of our videos He's the crew 
cruising Cuban. Yeah, the cruising Cuban. But uh, we do a lot of riding with him now. He's become real close friends to us. And he really pushes us. He, he's he had a heart attack a couple years ago. And yeah. Caused him to lose a lot of. He wanted to lose a lot of weight and get in shape. And now riding with him is pushing us because he pushes us to be better. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna have a series where we tell each one of us tell our stories, and uh, we hope that we can be inspiring to you. Our YouTube channel is very new. We don't have very many followers right now. And that's okay. We're not in it to be YouTube stars to make a lot of money. We're in it to inspire. Um, we want people to know that you don't have to be a super athlete to get outside and have joy of life. Um, you don't have to let your mind override your body or your body override your mind either way. get out there and do it fight through the pain fight through the suck of life uh, whatever your problem is get active that's what we do we just happen to love cycling uh, we happen to love pretty much any facet of bicycling yours might be running I know I have several friends that their thing is running uh, it may be hiking who knows kayaking anything get outside yeah, yeah yeah don't sit on the couch you know what i mean life's too short not to have fun right and enjoy what you want to enjoy and don't allow the people of this world to tell you you cannot do it because you can because you can that's what colossal cycling is all about we hope that you enjoy our footage that we have follow us on instagram at colossal cycling Facebook on Col at Colossal Cycling. Facebook. We also have a Twitter account. Um, follow us there. And then hit subscribe for us. And then also give us a thumbs up on our videos. Comment on them. Tell us how you like them. Tell us your ideas. Tell us your stories. Tell us your dislikes. And, uh, yeah, we want to know it all, you know. We're, we're up for suggestions.